Hey guys, Caleb Yonkers with Flow Theory Grappling here, and today we're going to be going over the Sasai foot sweep. So let's get into it. So we can do this Sasai from a few different grips, right? Really any grip that controls, um, it allows me to pull this uh, shoulder towards me, right? The strongest grip is probably going to be the underhook, right? But we can also do it from an overhook. We can do it from a collar tie, right? Uh, those are probably the three best grips to do it from. Uh, today we're going to go over it from an underhook, but again, the mechanics are pretty much the same from all of those grips, right? Now, um, basically, I'm going to have my underhook, all right, however I got there, right? And now, from here, first thing I want to start doing is I want to start creating a back foot for my partner, right? Now, sometimes you can do it without that, but the strongest finishes are always going to be whenever we are able to create a back foot, right? So if my partner has uh, his leg forward, a few different ways that we could create that back foot. I, I could fake like I'm going for a single and get him to step it back. Or right, what happens naturally uh, in, in uh, our stepping pattern is going to artificially create that, that back foot um, anyway. Right? So whenever I start coming and stepping across my partner's body, now you'll see that is sort of like a back foot. Right? We've kind of created a back foot via stepping across the body. Right. Don't be afraid to do this a few times when you're working this live, right? Because it also um, it pays to practice the components of the move separately, um, even when you're doing it live, right? So you don't have to just every time you take that step attempt the sweep, right? Really get used to that even live, right? We're working, we're working, we're working, right? Get used to how your partner steps um, with a little bit more resistance because he won't always take that perfect step. Right? A lot of times, right? My partner will keep that foot back, right? Especially if I've tried this a few times. He knows that if he steps that foot uh, forward, right, we're going to sweep it. Um, so a lot of times, again, your partner's kind of stingy with that foot. So whenever your partner uh, plays like that, right, we can start going in and doing snap downs, things that take advantage of, uh, of that foot back. Right? Because if that foot's back, right, now he's not basing off of it, right, his legs are backwards. Right? So again, snap downs are going to be easier um, to start going into. So, um, right, so again, the full thing, right? We have our underhook. All right, I'm gonna take that step. All right, I'm gonna get used to how my partner steps. Big step across, making him step. Big step across, making him step. All right, and then when I'm ready, all right, um, I'm gonna take that step. All right, I step, and pretty much at the same time, that hand goes to the shoulder and my foot blocks. All right, I step, and at the same time, that hand and foot go. So step, hand and foot go, and then we pull and push. On those shoulders, all right? Step, hand and foot go into place, all right? As we pull, all right? Step, and then everything else, again, it's pretty simultaneous. All right. Quick detail about the foot placement and gripping, right? Um, I'm basically gonna be contouring my foot to my partner's uh, shin, right? And I wanna be anywhere from the mid shin to the low shin towards the ankle, right? Uh, I don't wanna be high up towards the knee. Right, typically, again, mid to low shin, like so. Right, so whenever I go for it, again, right there. One other great utility of the Sasai, uh, especially off of grips like the collar tie that aren't as strong at getting that, that, uh, that clean sweep out. Right? The collar tie isn't as strong as, say, the underhook, for example. But um, we can still follow up a failed Sasai with a snap down, kind of using that same concept I already talked about um, with the foot being back. Right? except for this time it's because he's stumbled, right? So anytime I go in and I try to, I try to get it, but my partner steps out of it, right? For that second that he was stepping out, he's a little bit off balance and we can immediately follow that up with a snap down, right? So right, with a little bit more live timing, it probably looks like this, right? Where, again, it doesn't matter if I have the collar or the underhook. I particularly like this off the collar because it's just an easy, easily accessible grip that I can come in right, and I can just start not really worrying about finishing the sweep. And I can just spam this because it's very low risk to do, right? We can come in, right? And I can look to just spam that, right? I spam it, right? And again, his feet are usually somewhat like this when he, when he steps out of it, we can immediately follow that up, right? So a couple more times, all right? Come in, I get my grip, all right? I get him stepping, immediate snap, right? So again, I'll just do this, right? To, to create off balances to snap. Right, and this gets pretty tiring for your partner. Um, and it starts to open up uh, more and more 
things as your partner starts to overreact. All right, so a few details that I forgot to mention while I was filming. Um, so first of all, this is a trip more than it is an actual sweep out of the foot, right? So you'll notice right, when you step, it's like a curb effect, right? Where your partner thinks they're gonna be able to step when you pull that shoulder, but because you're blocking, they can't, and that creates that stumble, right? The other thing is that this is almost always gonna be done when your partner is in a more upright posture. And it's very difficult to do this when they're really low, uh, in a low wrestling stance with their feet hidden. Um, in that case, generally snap downs are gonna be easier, uh, other things like that, um, and foot sweeps are gonna be hard. Here's uh, an example of this move working at the highest level, uh, ADCC 2022. Giancarlo Bodoni hit this. He hit this one with an overhook. You can also use this aside to get behind people with arm drags. And as you can see in this Gordon Ryan clip versus Pedro Mourinho, apparently uh, off of a slide by as well. And so the concept here is your partner in order to circle away to keep their back away from you needs to be able to step that foot forward um, so that they can circle away. Um, but if you block that foot, right, they can't um, and that exposes the back. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, please uh, leave them in the comments. It really helps the algorithm uh, so that we can continue to grow the channel. Uh, if there are any techniques you wanna see, again, let us know in the comments. Uh, subscribe, like, and thanks for watching.